80 for Brady is a sports comedy about four friends making their track to support their favorite QB, Tom Brady at the Super Bowl. I'm joined hey. by Lily Tomlin, Sally Field, Jane Fonda, and Rita Moreno. Oh my goodness. I love how this movie was based on a true story. So what was your favorite part about this wild ride to the 2017 Super Bowl? We'll start with you, Rita. We're not gonna go into the, uh, the locker room because I already did that several <laughs> times. Was that, that really your favorite that was part? Uh, actually, of shooting the whole movie? Actually, just, just no, touch your body really. a couple of times. Yes. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> it was working together oh. with these women. Yeah, yeah, we 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 had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, it really it really was fun. I mean, it was hard work. It was it was really hard. Every, every every night we were like watching the clock. Do we get to go yet? Um, because there's a lot of, lot of physicality in it, and 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 it was hard work. Um, but boy, it was ultimately fun. You don't always get that. Love that, well, Lily. Uh, <laughs> uh, golly, my my favorite part of the movie is uh, listening to Rita and and Jane harmonize. Every if there was like any empty space, it oh. was filled with song oh. and har harmony. And uh, uh, and uh, drove this, us all crazy. This gal d just complaining about it all, all the, the time. time. Really? There we go. In unfinished. No, but sentences. I wasn't really complaining. And I was uh, so. silently recording them because I've got a tape I could let you have. <laughs> Game's about to start. There's Tom. Oh, oh what a beautiful man. I like Gronkowski. We know, Trish. We've all read your Gronk erotica. It's not erotica. It's fan fiction. Very sexy fan fiction. How was it working with Tom Brady? And and do you have a favorite team or a favorite player? The truth is, is that Tom Brady, by default, has now become my favorite player. It was uh, it was incredible. I mean, it was really quite an interesting experience because he knows uh, what he knows and he knows what he does. And then he came in very fresh saying like, hey, you know, this is a new thing for me. This is a new experience. He'd obviously been on set before in other movies, but never asked to do this kind of a performance. Um, and I think he really took the challenge and, and did wonderful work with him. What was your favorite part about their wild ride to the 2017 Super Bowl? The most interesting thing to me was the dynamic they had with each other. Like the, the women in the 80 for Brady Club have this shorthand with each other and the way that they talk to each other and the way they banter and how sharp they are and, and the way that they would sort of get jokes in edgewise really set the foundation for the dynamics that the women had. And it's something that I think is really fun to watch and we don't normally get to see uh, older women playing that type of a role, that sort of dynamic of a group of them who all have that shorthand with each other. And that I think was the nugget that I that I loved and sort of latched onto early. What does this movie tell you about life experiences and not thinking that your goals or dreams are too big? No, no, you've got no, you cannot you've got to go after it. You've got to like just you and also so make yourself available. And Jane will remind you that you've got to be healthy. I mean, a lot of people are not so well off as uh, as we are. But even if you're not, you must, if you can think of it, you've got to try to do it. Well, 80 for Brady is an absolute touchdown. Make sure you go check it out at Cinemark Theaters. You can get your tickets at cinemark.com. Isn't that what friendship is? That we face the unknown together? Let's go, Golden Girls. Come with me. Make a Hey, what? No, 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 no,